Let's talk about representation. What is it? The action of speaking or acting on behalf of someone or the state of being so represented. Or the description or portrayal of someone or something in a particular way or as being of a certain nature. Let's also talk about diversity, which is the state of having people who are different races or who have different cultures in a group or organization. Nowadays, we're all talking about how we need more women involved in media and how Hollywood needs to be more inclusive and involved more women of various sexualities, skin tones, and gender expressions. The same goes for conventions, like YouTube-related conventions. I remember after one of the conventions a year or so ago, somebody on Tumblr made a pie chart about the diversity and lack thereof. I also noticed the conversations on other social media about the lack of diversity, which is awesome, and I get involved in these conversations too, because I 1000% agree with them. But I can't help but notice that a lot of these conversations that I oversee forget about another a marginalized group. This marginalized group often doesn't get included in the diversity conversation. Women with disabilities, women who use mobility devices such as canes, crutches, and wheelchairs, women who are blind, women who are deaf, chronically ill, of all various sexualities, skin tones, and gender expressions. We talk a lot about being intersectional in our feminism, but we're not actually being intersectional. At least not completely. When I went to VidCon and caught the last hour of the Women on YouTube panel on the main stage, I noticed something. One, no YouTuber of any disability was in sight. Two, there was little to no conversations about disability. As far as I'm aware, that has happened at all the conventions that I've been to. This year at VidCon, we had one disability panel split into two, and two closed captioning workshops, one of them being mine. And while it was great to have our own space, it's not enough. It took six VidCons for a workshop hosted by a deaf person to happen, unless somebody beat me to and I didn't know it. There can only be one. And it took seven VidCons for a disability panel to happen. It simply took too long. Of course, better late than never. Now you could argue that it's just because there aren't many of us out there on YouTube, but there definitely are. We're just not getting enough love and support. Now I am fortunate enough to be a deaf female YouTuber that has been flown out to a few conventions and conferences. I'm often put in the middle of a group of hearing people and faced with potentially being confused by our language barrier. In fact, in about an hour or so, after this video premieres, I'm going to be bluffing my way through the conversations in the green room, the creator suite, and parties. All the while hoping that nobody on this stage or anywhere else told me that their dog died while I'm just sitting there nodding and smiling and hoping for the best. Just in case, ladies, I apologize in advance, but you've been warned. But I'm still watching my friends hustle, right? And work their butts off to try to get disabilities and what have you acknowledged on YouTube so that they can be a part of conventions and get to share their own voices. It's gotten a little better, but we're still not quite there. And what I'm hoping for is that people will start to really acknowledge our voices and start including us in the conversation as well. That way, the change that we're looking for has a chance of happening fast or at the very least, we know that we'll have that support. As far as Hollywood and media and stuff goes, we also need able-bodied people to stop playing disabled roles. We need hearing actors to stop being given deaf roles. When tragic events like Sagar Mihara happen, they need to be talked about too and not be swept under the rug. Disabled YouTubers should be able to tell their stories and have them heard. Conventions should be more accessible to the disabled creators and audience. But we can't do it alone. If you want to follow me on all of my social media, links to that will be down below. If you want to support me monthly on Patreon and get presents and letters and stuff, link to that will also be down below. If you want some fancy merch, link to that will also be down below. I upload every Monday and Thursday unless otherwise stated, and I will see you later. Bye! Also, hearing creators, please caption your videos for your deaf and hard of hearing audience. Deaf people get involved in a conversation better when they understand what's going on.